young man asked me question he said I uh, was laying down on uh, my stomach the other day and uh, you know something happened is that considered sin that's on purpose or uh, accidental I didn't mean to so he thought I was gonna ask him you know why did you lay down on your stomach you know you're not allowed but I know he knows that I know he knows he's not allowed not allowed to lay on the guy is not allowed to lie on the stomach he's not allowed to lay on his back Shukhan Aruch says even if you see your own father laying on his back wake him up why? it's pikuach nefesh a guy has to lay if he's going to lay down lay down your side right or left pick one start the night with the left and then move on to the, to the right of course you lose control at some point and you're sleeping and so on don't worry you don't have to hire a bodyguard or anything to wake you up but the point is is that you have to do the best to stay on your side by the way it's what do you think Shlomo Melech it says Shlomo Melech has 60 Shomrim around him what do you think it's just Shomrim for no reason different roles each one had a different role also to deal with demons but it's a different story anyway Rabotai Karim he thought I'm gonna ask him why are you laying on it you know you're not allowed what was the question? I asked him, why are you laying down? That was the question. Not why are you laying down on your stomach. Why are you laying down? So oh, I was just resting. So from what? You know, you know, in between, sit down then. Learn a book. What are you doing laying down? If you're going, now go to sleep. It's at night. Rest of the day, Adam la amal yulad person came to the world to work stop laying down in the middle of the afternoon like you're some uh, retiree now I'm just resting resting from what you're 25 years old what are you resting from Game Boy or PlayStation what are you resting from no I just learned two hours okay so learn another five minutes learn another two hours what are you laying down for you want to rest sit down with a book while you're reading rest while you read That's the question. People think that they came to this world to relax. Afternoon naps. If you slept three hours a night, you could take an afternoon nap, no problem. But to just lay down and just look at the ceiling like you're some retiree goy, it's not, it's not for Judaism. It doesn't work. Why? Bad things are going to happen. A person needs to know that if you are constantly busy doing good deeds you yourself will start looking at it the same way that I'm speaking it who has time to lay down instead of laying down I could go do a good deed I go help somebody I go read something I go make a bracha on something I could do something good who has time to relax I got stuff to do I gotta build Olam Abba I got a whole world I gotta build well, it's time to lay down in an afternoon nap. Like he's uh, 97 years old. Everybody's taking naps. What are you, a baby? I'll bring you to my house. You'll sleep in the sleep down next to my kids. Yosef, Yosef likes to take a nap. Every few hours, he takes a nice nap for 15 minutes. You take a nap next to him. I'll give you a bottle, I'll give him a bottle. Next to you. A binky, binky, huh? What is this, what is this laying down? 20, 15 years old laying down. What are you laying down for? Either sit down or go to sleep. If you're busy doing good deeds, Rabutai, you'll start looking at this as ludicrous as I do. Laziness is a choice. A person that's chasing good deeds. He's going to do much more in his life. He'll be much more successful in his life. 